Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back. Um, and if you're new, welcome completely to my channel. Uh, my name is Silvana. And today, um, I want to do a small swatch and review on the Missy Lynn palette. Um, this is um, from BH Cosmetics. Um, and it's it's cardboard packaging on the outside. Um, all of it's cardboard packaging. It does have a little bit of a magnetic closure. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not, but um, on the outside it's really cute. It's really pretty. Um, it's purple and the shadows, it's got a mirror. Won't blind you with the mirror. And then it's got a little saying at the bottom that says, start with confidence, finish with success, Missy Lynn. And these are the shadows. And you get six uh, full-size shadows. And these two can be used as shadows. They're baked. They can be used as shadows or they can be used as highlights. Um, it, the colors are pretty and they'll definitely go with all skin tones. And I will give you that much. Um, the pigmentation on it, I'm not too, too thrilled on it. Those are, that's the top row right there. And that that one color, it could be used, I guess, as a highlight, but it doesn't really show up all that much, especially on my skin tone. Um, so it, if you have a darker skin tone, it definitely would show up a lot better. And then that last one, it's pretty hard to get the pigmentation on it. Um, you kind of have to build it up. Now that shimmer color right here, that one's really, really pretty, and it does show up fairly well. And then I forgot to get wipes, so excuse me. Um, I'm running out of wipes. So let me get that off my fingers, and I will swatch the second row for you. And here is the second row. This one's a brown. It's a purple. And it's another purple. And those are those three colors right there. And that's them swatch. And I'm just, I guess I'm just disappointed, like, especially like these colors right here. They just don't show up as well. And these are pretty chalky um, at the same time. Um, they're, they're patchy. And they're not all that great. And I'm wondering if it's just the formulation of it because they're powdery. Or are they more, they're not a shimmer base? Because the shimmer one came out beautiful. So, um, and I'm, again, I'm not sure if that's what it is, but I wasn't too, too thrilled on it. Um, this for me would work maybe as a transition color. Um, this one really wouldn't work at all for me. And then these, they're just so, they're patchy. And I, and I, I don't know. I'm not too thrilled about it, I guess. Um, and then let me go ahead and do the highlight colors for you. And this one's more of a, um, like a reddish or a pink gold um, or even a copper. And then that one's more of a gold color. And those are those two right there. And then, there they are swatched. Now, to me, neither one of those on my skin tone would work as a highlight. And those two are, if you look here, let's see. That's not English. Right here, it says Baked Highlighter Palette. Now for me, neither one of those would work as a highlight. Those are way, way, way too dark for me. Um, and I'm not sure if it's just made for someone with darker skin tone or what but those are definitely more eyeshadow colors because let's say even if you try to sheer it out a little bit I mean let me try to to at least try to sheer it out just a tad to see what it looks like I still don't think it's gonna work but we'll give it a shot I mean it, it's just it's so dark I mean it's that's way too gold and too dark for me, and I'm, I mean, I don't, I'm not the lightest person in the world, but it, it's, and that's the gold one. I mean, I can't even imagine what that rosy gold one would look like. Even try to share it out. It's, it's, it's so dark. 
So, I mean, that would be a great, even a blush color maybe. That would definitely work as a blush color or a uh, bronzer um, to kind of warm up your face a little bit. But as a highlight, it definitely would not work. Um, so, I, I'm not completely disappointed with it. But I'm not jumping for joy over it. Um, I did get it when it first came out. And I did try playing around with it. Um, it's not my favorite. I've tried better things from BH. Um, one of my favorite things from BH is the... Um, it's Judy Time Palette. And I think that one was probably more suited for every skin tone, every... Um, complexion out there this one it's only only if you have deeper a deeper skin tone will that really work I mean some of the eyeshadows will work but I mean the, the highlight there's no way that's gonna work for somebody like me so anyways um, that is kinda my review on this um, someone had asked me you know if I would get this or the Kathleen lights collection from ColourPop and in all honesty I would rather spend the twenty dollars on the Kathleen lights uh, for some then I would spend twelve dollars on this um, <clears throat> not sure how much it is right now on the BH Cosmetics website but when I bought it I believe it was eleven ninety nine so um, I wouldn't waste my money on this one um, I just think it probably could have been a little done a little bit better um, like I said the it's Judy time palette was way better and better quality than this was and so it has nothing against Missy Lynn I love her stuff um, but BH just kind of dropped the ball on this one so I would definitely get the ColourPop for some instead um, and if you guys have any questions um, please leave them down in the comments below like subscribe and tell me what you think and hopefully I will see you guys again later thanks bye